Hi, on this video I'm going to share with you my review on the new Dr. Sam's Flawless Gossamer Tint. I'm going to talk with you a little bit about the product, show you the application on my skin, compare it with the Flawless Daily Sunscreen and finally I will tell you my opinion about it. So if you are interested on this content, just keep on watching. If you already saw one of my videos before, thank you for returning and if you are new to my channel, my name is Marisa, welcome! In here we talk about everything beauty and lifestyle for all women, but of course, considering my age, I have a special interest and focus on over 50 issues. So if you think that this content might interest you, please consider subscribing and following me on Instagram. Considering that the majority of my viewers are from outside the UK, it's perfectly understandable if you don't know who Dr. Sam Bunting is. She is a well-respected dermatologist here in the UK and she has founded her own clinic in the famous Harley Street. She has her own YouTube channel and she launched her own skincare line a few years ago. I will place below in the description of this video the links to her YouTube channel and to her Dr. Sam's site. I first became aware of Dr. Sam through her YouTube channel, which I wholeheartedly recommend for you to check out. It's filled with great content on all things skincare, from general knowledge to routines for all skin types and issues, as well as product recommendations. I was particularly interested interested because she has a similar skin type to my own. Of course, her skin is much more beautiful, but she also has a combination light skin, which is redness prone like all Celtic skin types. So I feel that she is particularly aware and addresses some of the concerns that I have. I have been testing Dr. Sam's skincare line, including the Flawless Daily Sunscreen, and the video on the results will be coming out in two weeks approximately. But when I heard that she was releasing a new 100% mineral sunscreen, a tinted one no less, I knew I had to get it. So here it is, the Flawless Go Summer Tint, and it provides a broad spectrum SPF 50 protection, courtesy of 11.8% zinc oxide plus 4% titanium dioxide. It has been released in an untinted version and in two tinted ones, one a neutral, very light one, which was the one that I got, the Tint 01, and a more warmer one, but also very light, Tint 02. The claims on this sunscreen is that it provides a soft focus veil to the skin without leaving any white cast, that it's a good base for makeup application and that due to its triple hydration factor to squalane and shea butter, both rich in fatty acids and antioxidants, as well as sodium hyaluronate, it will make the skin glowy and hydrated comfortable throughout the entire day. So the product will not only provide the SPF 50 protection but also give it a glowy improved appearance. It comes in a squeezy tube with a pump and this is how the Tint 01 looks like. It's a very soft cream and as you can see is extremely light. I got the Tint 01 as I said but honestly as soon as this one finishes I would like to try the 02. It sinks into the skin, it sets completely and you cannot see any product on the skin. So let's go to the application. I've applied the moisturizer in my eyes but on the rest of my skin I have only the Brightly Serum also from Dr. Sam's. I'm just putting my hair back to not to get in front and I'm going to apply the amount of uh, gossamer tint that is advised in order to achieve 
the amount of gossamer tint that is advised in order to achieve the SPF 50 is six pumps. So I'm going to apply three in one side of my face in order to have an idea of the amount of coverage that it gives. These pumps are not really coming off very well. So three pumps. One, two, three. One, one, one and a half. Let's see if we can spread this. It's definitely easier to apply in two separate layers of three pumps each. I have already spread it as best as I can and I'm going to let it set. So the Gossamer tint is almost completely set. I think you will be able to appreciate how it has made my skin a little bit more uniform. But the tint is really very light, even for me, and I have a light medium skin tone. So the Gossamer tint is completely set and I'm going to apply the Tom Ford Traceless Stick Foundation, which is one that is heavy on silicones. I want to see how both products interact. So far so good. The tint was really well set and although I have to rub with my fingers, it's not peeling off. So great. A very quick and easy application and the foundation didn't peel off on top of the Gossamer tint. So very positive result. So what is my final opinion regarding this product? Well, I have to say that I really like it and contrary to this one, I'm going to continue on buying it and by saying this it does not mean that the daily sunscreen is not a good product. It's just that this one is a mixture of physical and chemical sunscreens and I prefer 100% mineral ones. And although I like the ingredients that it has on it, like niacinamide, all the three hydration factors that we have on this one, plus lactic acid as well, on my skin it does not set completely. My skin remains glowy and tacky even if I wait half an hour and even if I don't apply any moisturizer between it and the Brightly. This one, as you have seen in the application, if I apply the six pumps divided by two layers and let it set, it really absorbs into the skin. The skin remains a little bit glowy, but not as in the daily sunscreen, and it's much less tacky. For me, for my particular combination skin, I prefer the finish and the feeling that this product provides. I think it's perfect to use at home by itself without any foundation on top because it really gives a slight improvement of the skin. When I'm using makeup for filming, for instance, I do not apply the six pumps. I apply only three very well spread. I film about two meters and a half from the window and I do not catch more sunlight or radiation that what I get from this distance. So I think that the three pumps, which hopefully will give at minimum a 20 factor protection, will be enough. Whenever I'm going outside, then I applied indeed the six pumps in order to achieve the desired SPF 50. I have to say as well that when I apply in the morning the Brightly and the Go Summer Tint on, on top, it has been until now enough to make my skin feel comfortable the entire day without the need of adding an extra moisturizer. 
So this has been definitely a great combination and for that reason and for the fact that it also really and I totally agree provides a good base to use beneath foundation I will continue to buy the Flawless Ghost Hammer Tint and I'd recommend it. And that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and it was useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for this time that you have spent with me. Until next time, bye!